Hey guys, we're back. So today I basically made a decision. I repaired all my guns, reloaded my mags. We're doing pretty good for ammo, good for heals. I think we're gonna do... So we got these quests. Um, what I'm gonna do is we'll go through the shortcut up to Pavega factory and this is where the other metastasis thing is, the spawner. Uh, the shortcut will put us there and then we'll loot these front buildings I don't think we're gonna go deep that sounds I don't know it would be a bit we, we'd end up using all our heals again so we're just gonna do the edge areas and then that should equip us in the next episode or if I have if I'm not sweating to death uh, we'll, we'll go to the Zarya area except a couple quests and do that uh, there is a shortcut in the Zarya area that we can go into it and unlock. So, that should be fine. Let's sleep until morning. We'll just go... 8... 7... 7 a.m. Okay. Cool. Alright. Now, uh... Do I... Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Sweet. Oh, uh, right, gotta eat because we slept. Um, oh yeah, I got a bunch more food. Delicious. Bring the rest of this with us. Put one of these back. Yeah, our backpack's getting a bit cluttered. Uh, but because we have lower level equipment, like in a normal playthrough, I would be almost kitted to the teeth because you can just buy things so much easier so we're having to bring multiple guns because we're, we're a little underpowered which is the whole thing about the scavenger that's the difficulty is you're always uh, underprepared so all right go through this I'll probably just fast forward until we get to the shortcut or the, the exit oh right that's a problem. Oh, this whole place is repopulated. Alright, uh, in that case, let's change... No, no, we'll just ignore the village. It's not worth it. Let's take care of these guys. ammo there, that sucks. I didn't want to get hit, because heals are our biggest uh, pain point at the moment. I didn't die, huh? Uh, I'm just going to manually reload this mag. We have a bunch of AP, but I want to save it. Now we're into the dangerous zone. Uh, let's not use the SMG until we end up back everything. That's our panic weapon. Alright, there's the other metastasis thing, so that's one mission finished. Now what do we got? Hello? Okay, uh... Let's take those out with this. Don't, don't get back up. Ow! I didn't know he could do that. I did not know they could do that. Okay, good. They make our brother. What are they called? Spawns? Did that hit me? There wasn't any damage. Red effect. Okay. Oh man, my nose is itchy. Alright, hold on. 14 out of 18, reload this again. Do this baby. Get some more bullets in that. Uh, these two are loaded with AP, I think. At least one of them is. This. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, 
Hello there, buddy. Man, I could never throw knives. Oh man, I just threw the knife. There we go. Um, I could never use knives to throw on the uh, Rift S I had because it, the tracking and the like accuracy on the controllers sucked. Nice, another heal. Uh, all right, what do we got today? Another MP5 mag. Hopefully, I find one of those because. Uh, although the ammo would be the real problem there. I'm just gonna loot all these. Okay, straight across. Hopefully the bridge doesn't have anything scary on it. I'm gonna get out the long range weapon. And turn off the laser. Hopefully I can unawares snipe something. I think that's a runner up there behind the bunker. Yep. And we've got this guy. There is one weakness on bringing the PPSH in that it's, it does have AP ammo, but it's loud. Oh shit, that's a cough. Okay, hang on. Oops. Ah, shit. Come on, nice and slow. Got him. Keys to stay calm, just... Don't panic. Ooh, hey, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna spawn. I nearly said mimic. Just load whatever I can get. Ugh, bit of FPS lag. I don't know what's going on there. Will there finally be something in this cluster of cars? I really do remember there being like a box spawn in there or something. Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. And on we go. Another armored walker. There. Take this guy out behind this so we don't have to attract anything else. Let's use this because it has decent piercing. Here, Across the pond. I don't see anything currently. Honestly, you might be able to see better than I do in these cases. Hello, cop. I haven't seen an enemy over here. Be extra diligent, shall we? Literally reloading one bullet is a little over the top, but it is P plus that bullet, so I know that if I shoot something with armor, I might actually pierce it. Okay, so our goal here is to loot all these front buildings and the two hangars. Although those two hangars kind of suck. Walker. Uh, runner. Seems fairly safe. Headshot this guy. It seems the head is less armored on this guy. We're only going to quickly check these, but they could have heals. Like, anything can have almost anything. Like an ammo uh, box or a heal. And we are really trying not to use uh, resources on this run. We're really trying to gain them back. So that... Shit, man. Grab the backpack. More AP for this. This is going to be nice. When we have a serious uh, Kolosny run, we'll load everything up with... The best of the best. This. Buddy. 
very, very rude. Oh, that's the last of our ammo boxes. Box up there today. Turn that off. We'll check the other hangar in, in a sec. I'm just going to check this building because we've had good luck with this one. I don't like that anomaly, man. I didn't. I never even Googled it. So I still... I don't remember if it just alerts things if it touches you, but... Ooh, a box. Ooh. Another PPSH drop with 10 bullets. That, more ammo. Nice, there we go. We can uh, load the top of this mag up with AP. Nothing comes through there. That'd be good. Let's drop another save. Uh, this one. Yes. Now we've looted that one. This is the annoying one with all the squigglies. My friend told me that. <laughs> It took me nine episodes to call the spawns the little, uh, what I've been calling little, little guys or whatever. <laughs> I kept calling them little guys. I finally called them the right name, which is spawn on episode nine. And then of course I just went back to calling them little, little guys or little boys. Right, uh, did we look in there? I don't think we did. I'm just going to loot everything. I'm going to open those. I've never seen an item in these. I think they're just there for looks. I don't know. There we go. That's why we're checking cabinets. I think we have seven now. We are slightly hurt, but we'll save it for when we're really hurt. Uh, someone's running. There is someone in here. Okay, here we go. Right, I think. Maybe I imagined it, or it was one of the creepy sounds he plays, but this room here is the extremely tasty. Oh my god, is that finally a 74? 74M, that's the best one, I think. Alright, well, that's gonna be good. Uh, just put it in the back here. Alright, what do we got? A fully modded, yeah, that's a fully modded OC33. So that, that's good. Next time we use 9x18, we're going to use this in the sidearm slot instead of the SMG. Because that'll help us save ammo. I think it does a little more damage per shot. Plus, I can put the pistol side on it. Um, I think these sell for a bit, so I'll pick them up even if they're not, you know, the one I'd use. And another shotgun ammo. That's fine. Alright, I think I imagined the dude that was running, so that or it was one of those creepy sounds. He loves those. I just refer to the dev as he. I, it's probably not even a he or it's not a single person, but regardless, I'm sorry if I misgendered you, um, but you're an amazing dev, so take that compliment. <laughs> Absolutely freaking love this game. It's my favorite VR game of all time, and it's my favorite... I don't know, nothing has ever made me feel like I felt on... My first playthrough, I just got my ass kicked. My second playthrough, it clicked with me, and I was just... I felt like an operator, man. This game makes you feel... When you have top-tier gear, you're just annihilating. It is amazing. The feeling it gives you, like you've progressed to being actually better at the game. Because everything in VR 
is just like it's you you are doing these things not just a mouse it's not your wrist doing it it is you if you're aiming badly it's because you are aiming badly it's amazing i just love the a few new games for vr have come out recently arizona sunshine 2 has come out i might if it runs okay to record like this game i've had to do some serious finagling to get it to run while recording well but if uh, if arizona sunshine runs well and it gets good reviews obviously i don't know if it'll be like a complete disappointment for critics or whatever but i don't know man it, it just i loved the first game but i had this game breaking bug and it ruined my whole playthrough basically whenever something to do with pausing and unpausing or when it would load a new area i wouldn't be able to get my gun out of my holster or put a gun into my holster I would have to restart the whole game, often putting me back 20 minutes of progress. And it would delete guns when I went through load screens. Like, it sucked how that happened, because I love that game. That was one of my first... <laughs> my first VR game when I got the Rift S was literally Boneworks, which is... If you get VR, do not play Boneworks or Bone Labs first. Play something even like this. This is a good game. Everything's stable. You're not physics-based. Oh, hey, bud. Um, yeah, you, you're not physics-based in this game. Everything's a bit more stable, and you can even use teleporting locomotion, although it's going to be harder to fight with teleporting, but if you need to ease yourself into VR, it's totally valid to use um, teleporting. And this game has it, so it's good. Also, snap turning, um, I would not recommend if you're wanting to start out in VR and get a headset. Uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, doing smooth turning. In fact, I still don't use smooth turning because it, it is definitely sickness inducing even if you are adjusted to VR. So, yeah, if anyone's thinking getting VR, there's my advice. And I would highly recommend a, uh, a Quest 3 if you want to do PC VR. Just make sure you have at least something as powerful as a 3060 Ti, which is what I have. It's powerful enough while recording. Oh my god! It just warped! Oh, that's the kind of thing that scares you in into the radius. <laughs> just walked up the hill. That was horrifying. Oh, I hate it. Goodness. I'm gonna need new pants. Okay, so... Uh, take this guy out. But, how about we go clear the village? Oh, that's an assault rifle guy. Uh, we gotta get rid of this guy, though. Because he's gonna chase us. Um... No, how about we go straight back to base, avoid the shit in the village. We're gonna go into Coloss... Colossnig Zarya. Uh, that place is horrifying. So, there is... I don't know if it's multiple APCs or if the APC just goes in a wide circle, but they've designed the area in a way that pretty much anywhere you go in the zone, that APC is going to be facing you at some point and you're going to have to hide. If you don't hide, uh, it's kind of like a helicopter in Rust. If it sees you, you're a little fucked unless you hide until it goes away. Yeah, it, it will annihilate you, even in full armor. In fact, I really hope I find a helmet there. Because uh, I think it has the... I mean, obviously it will. It's the hardest area, except for, like, the final showdown area, which is a castle. Uh, it was, like, a tourist attraction, and then everything went bad, and that was, like, ground zero, which is why we're, that's the final mission is... Ah, why did I do that? <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's that's the final area, but Colossi Zara is the the best loot in a, like a large area with lots of loot spots. Uh, oh, we can just uh, heal back at base. Let's put this away. All right, my hands are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Arms spaghetti. Okay, so I'm just gonna put all this shit away and sell what I can, and then. Uh, take the take the headset off for a second and just wipe 
wipe my head because I've got a VR headband. Well, it's not. It's just an exercise headband uh, coming in the mail. I had four with the Rift S, but I've lost all of them. Two of them are with my roommate because he's still using the Rift S. Uh, but uh, yeah. But yeah, it's just a um a VR head. <laughs> it's not a VR headband. Exercise headband, and what that does is it'll it'll wick up the most moisture on your forehead because the VR headsets will make your forehead drip, and then that becomes very itchy and like unpleasant when you're in a session. Uh, oh Jesus. Okay, well I'll be back. Next time we go on a big mission, I think I'll uh. So I can, I can put the AK thing on this, and the sight, and the laser. Uh, we might go in with this, and we got a ton of ammo, 545 for this. That'll be good.